Hi, my name is Brian Croker. Uh, today I am uh, from Little Rock Printing. I'm here to show you how to use Canva uh, in case you're in the unfortunate situation where you need to make um, folded memorial cards for a, uh, a funeral service. So the reason we made this video is uh, these things are usually obviously unplanned and it's usually um, needs to be made by somebody uh, if you, that doesn't usually order printing. So we want to show you an easy way to get these designs so you can get on with it. Um, as well, we do have a, a coupon code for these if you need to print them that uh, will discount the order 50%. Uh, that coupon code, if you want to write it down now, is the word um, Memorial 50. Uh, that's for anybody in the situation of having to do this. Um, so here we go. So the first thing you can do is you're going to sign up for a free account on this website called canva.com. And then uh, what you're going to do is you're going to create basically a four-page file. One for the front, uh, two for the inside, left and right. And then one for the back. So um, let's go go on. So first thing you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna create design. Uh, usually these things are done at um, the finished size of four and a quarter by five and a half. You can do any size you want. You can do a five by seven. You can do five and a half, eight and a half. But I'm gonna show you today the common size of four and a quarter by five and a half. So you're gonna go create new design, custom size, and then you're going to change the unit of measurement to inches uh, because that's the one we're going to want to use as opposed to pixels. So the width 4.25 by 5.5. And you can go 4 by 6, whatever you want to do. So it's going to give you one rectangle here. That's 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. Um, one more. And then, so we're going to start with the outside cover. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to search the templates here. You're going to type in uh, memorial cards. Memorial funeral programs. And you can see uh, Canva has a lot of great starter templates. So you don't have to be a professional designer to make something worthy of the day. Um, so all you're going to do here is pick something that you like. Uh, these are obviously you know, not the most fun things to do, but this is how you do it. Uh, let's go with this one. So you're going to apply both pages. Okay. So it's made pages one and two. And what you can do now is uh, you would obviously go in and you'd edit it. Uh, so Cindy Smith, whatever you need to do, everything's pretty intuitive. You double click it, change the dates, change the heading. Um, and what you want to do is you're going to want to make this a four page file. So this might be the inside right. Uh, page, page two is actually the inside left. So you might just want to um, delete some information here and just have this blank, or you might want to add in, um, uh, you know, whatever you want on the uh, inside left. The design's up to you, but basically page one is your outside cover. Page two is your inside left. Page three is your inside right. And then we need a back cover as well. So maybe we just want to keep the background for this. So again, I hit this button called duplicate pages to make page four, and I'm going to delete everything off uh, here. And you might want to put in um, the address or donations to or a poem or, or whatever. But uh, keeping it really simple here, um, page one is your cover. Page two is the inside left. Page three is the inside right. Page four here. And again, if you're halfway through and you want to change the design, you can just you can actually just uh, change the template out altogether. So say you wanted to go to this one now, apply both pages. Um, replace all pages and now you have uh, it, it starts at two pages again so again you'd want to go in and delete the things you don't want uh, this is the back cover but it's as simple as that so uh, it's a lot of work in here to type in the things uh, but there's a lot of great templates here in Canva uh, now the good thing is not the good thing what you want to do at the end is you want to type in uh, the file name Let's say we didn't like what we did there. We can undo a lot of these changes by hitting undo. Oh, maybe we can. Okay, so let's say Cindy Smith, 4.25 by 5.5. Uh, really shouldn't have done all those changes. Okay, so now we have a four-page file. Excuse the overproduction here. Obviously, you would go and delete and edit all the things you don't want. Um, but Cindy Smith, four and a quarter by five and a half. And all you can do now is you're going to download uh, a print PDF file, crop marks and bleeds. You're going to switch to CMYK. You're going to download it. 
And now what you have is you have a, a four page file that you can use for the order. Uh, we're gonna see how that previews in a second. And then you can just go to literalprinting.com and you're gonna go to uh, printing essentials. We call these greeting cards, which is basically a folded card in half. Now you put the uh, finish size as 4.25 by 5.5 or whatever you've done. I always recommend the default paper if you're not sure, but we do have sample kits if you'd like to see them. This would be a, considered a double-sided card. And then let's say you wanna do 50, add it to the cart. Let's take a look at our file. So we do have the, um, the file here. So this is that PDF print file, so you're good to go. Uh, obviously I didn't edit it all. And you would drop that PDF file into your order. Oh, I got the wrong file here. That's another one. Sorry, I had some items in the cart here from another order. So if you ever happen to see it. So this is the greeting cards. You're going to click download your file and let it get to 100%. And the coupon code you're going to use once it gets, uh, once this finishes to complete. So it shows you got your file there. You can put Memorial 50. And Memorial 50, apply the coupon. And you'll see that it took half the price off. And then you just proceed to checkout, put your information in, and you're all done. If you have any questions, please let us know. You can email us, call us, or use our online chat. Hopefully this was helpful, and uh, that's it. Thank you.